Hey guys, welcome back to Gardening in Cold Spring Harbor. Again, we are in Long Island, New York, Zone 7A. And I wanted to uh, make this very brief, quick video to show you guys what exactly I ended up uh, purchasing, buying from that, uh, what I called hidden gem section at my local Home Depot this morning. I ended up... Uh, buying um half of trunk full of gorgeous tubers roots bulbs so i wanted to quickly show you what exactly i ended up purchasing so here come with me let's take a quick look so i took everything out of my trunk you guys and um laid it on the floor on the ground to be exact but i try to separate everything by category for you guys so it's not uh, too confusing and just too much for you to see. So here, let's go one by one. Why don't we start right to left, you guys? So I, here, I ended up getting two of the, these Caroline <clears throat> raspberry bushes. As you could see, as I showed you in the store, they already sprouted their little beautiful leaves. I can feel that their root system is very, very large and abundant. So I got two of these, you guys. Can't wait to plant them in the ground. In my new south garden, I'm thinking, where I showed you my other raspberry bushes were. Then I got two kinds of blueberry bushes, you guys. Well, roots, if you want to call them that. But I got one is the Jersey blueberry. As you could see it sprouted some leaves has some beautiful buds already on it the other one i got was the blue crop blueberry again i can feel the very thick large root system here this one is a bit taller also has buds already forming on it it's quite it's quite tall especially this branch you guys look at this beautiful can't wait to put these two babies right next to my other blueberries in my backyard garden. Here are the two, um, <clears throat> excuse me, elephant ears that I got. One, as you could see, is just ginormous. This looks like a, what? <clears throat> Almost like a huge, huge coconut, you guys. This guy is, I want to say, probably 10 pounds, if not more. My husband was like, oh, when he was lifting this. So I got one, they're exactly the same kind, you guys. They're the elephant ears. Just one is a bit smaller. This guy is roughly five pounds weight-wise. This is just huge. This one is very even difficult to lift. So here next, again, right to left, I got the um, Quinault strawberry roots, the Ozark beauty, and the Sequoia strawberries. Each one comes in a bag like so, showing that each one has 10, 10 roots per pack. Can't wait to open those guys. Then I got the California garlic. Each one comes with three uh, full garlic heads. As you know, each one has to be split into individual cloves and then you plant each clove into your soil and each clo clove, I'm sorry, if and when sprouts is meant to produce a whole head of garlic. I got three kinds of onion sets. One, the white. One, the shallot, the red shallot. And one of the red. I showed you these briefly in the store. But um, as you could see, the sets are like mini onions. You were supposed to take each one and place it directly to the soil. Next are the Dahlia. I couldn't resist these. Oh my God, goodness. The pictures just look beautiful. So I ended up getting the Arabian Night Dahlia. The Mystery Day and White Perfection Dahlia. The Vancouver Dahlia. Excuse me, here you go. My shadow got a little in the way. Um, the Creme de Cassis. The... Fringed Star and Star Elite, the Lavender Perfection, 
beautiful. Look at this yellow one. The Kelvin floodlights and the do a Dahlia. So Dahlia is one of those annual flowers which are perfect for your cut flower gardens. You can even see that says that on the bag. They grow from something called a tuber. Without me having to open the bag, I'm sure you guys could see through with all this beautiful sunlight. So they look like these roots, but they're oval, elongated, and you place these tubers directly into the soil. That's how your dahlia grows. So next I decided to get uh, one pack of the Dutch Iris, the Miss Sanyong. These come in bulbs. And you could see these bulbs already started to sprout. Then I got three kinds of peony roots. The Sarah Bernard, the Mix, and the Car Carl Rosenfield. These you cannot see clearly because they're in the green bag for darkness, but I do feel the root system and it's nice and large and firm to the touch, which is always a good sign. So again, the three types of peonies. I got three bags of ranunculus. These come looking like little spiders. Do you see these roots, you guys? They're not your typical looking roots. They're very little, they're dry to the touch, but if you look at it closely, it reminds you of like a little dead spider in a way. But I know that you are supposed to technically soak these for a few hours prior to putting them in your, um, uh, either your seating trays or your biodegradable planting cups or even directly into the soil. So these guys are meant to be soaked because I, from what I heard, they expand in size a little bit and they become more uh, plump if you soak them first. Then I got the gladiolus. So I ended up choosing the pastel mix. Uh, the violet kinks. Look at these pink, beautiful flowers. The purple flora. Let me move it more into the sunlight. And oh my goodness, the green star. Look at this cannot wait to see how these guys end up growing again this one came with 50 in the pack 50 bulbs this one had 25 here let me show you what these um bulbs look like again they look like little onions if i might say but they're nice and firm again they're not soft they're not mushy which is what exactly what i want to see and last but not least, four lilies. Look at this, the salmon star. It looks like this gorgeous peach orangey color with these darker orange um, dots in the middle of their leaves. The tiger orange, whoa, this looks, look at this. It's like multiple leaves. Like this one comes like single leaves all around. And this one has one set of leaves, second set of leaves, and then this little guy in the middle. Ooh, gorgeous. The first romance lily and the Natty's Pride. To me, this looks so exotic looking, you guys. The white with that uh, burgundy, uh, almost like red wine color in the middle of the leaves. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Well... So here, again, are all the flowers, the tubers, the bulbs, and the roots that I ended up purchasing today at my local Home Depot. And I cannot wait, or oh, in the sets, of course, the veggies, and the berries, and the mammoth roots, the elephant ears, look at these, gorgeous, cannot wait to get these guys into my garden soil and to see what kind of harvest we're gonna end up getting later in the summer. And, and you guys also picked up these seed um, starting essentials. So I got the Jiffy uh, biodegradable uh, seed starting strips. 
each of look at these each one can grow up to 50 plants each one of these packs and um when you cut these off they can go directly into the soil again they're biodegradable i got some more of uh, flower seeds some delphinium some zinnias some um canterbury bells um i got the sweet pea the sweet dreams mixed colors another pack of artichoke seeds the zinnias the candy cane the zinnia purple prince the delphiniums the pacific giant mixed colors and the cup and saucer mixed colors of the canterbury bells i got more of the three inch jiffy pots again biodegradable 15 pots in each and i got more of the natural and organic seed starting mix so the tubers the bulbs the roots and some more of seeds and seeding essential is what i got today at my local home depot you guys and I almost forgot you guys, but I also picked up some of these biodegradable um Jif So this is it you guys for this brief video. I hope you liked what you saw. I hope you like what I selected and purchased today at my local Home Depot. Again, I could not uh, believe that I uh, discovered that little um, hidden gem section at my local Home Depot. I, uh, again, what I purchased is based on the plants that I wanted to grow in my garden, based on what I felt, what I saw in regards to the size of their roots, the sizing of the tubers, the quality again. I felt everything through the bags. I made sure that the roots and the tubers were large and firm to the touch, made sure the bags were not damaged, torn. And again, the flowers that I selected, I selected based on the quality of uh, the roots and the tubers and also on the colors that I saw. Uh, some varieties I've never grown before and I want to try to grow them this season, which is exactly why I selected them. But if you like this video, click thumbs up, leave your comments, let me know. Did you guys check out your local Home Depot yet? Do you guys have... Uh, such wonderful um, sections in your store. Do you have such a large selection, such abundance of variety of these roots and tubers in your Home Depot store? Uh, again, leave your comments. I will answer each and every one of them. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any of my new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!